Hello, good morning. Um, what I thought I'd do today, just a little video about um, lighters. So I often get, uh, see a lot of posts on groups and forums about lighters and people starting out in cigar smoking and deciding what lighter should I buy? The first thing that tobacconist or your B&M store is probably going to give you is maybe a cheap book of matches. Now cigar matches normally have a much longer splint because it, you take a lot longer to light them, whereas if you're lighting pipes, you probably go for a normal sort of short match. But, you know, matches are fine if you're not in the wind um, and you've got some time. So, most people want a lighter. So, most people will be able to, this is from Foxes in London, most people will be able to get a soft flame, cheap lighter. They cost very much, got lots of different varieties here. This is a clipper, it's hardly got any gas left in it, but you could use that if you wanted to. Um, soft flames, I think personally, um, are much better for lighting your cigar to avoid any sort of charring. If you look at the Fox's lighter, um, oh dear, whoopsie. If you look at the Fox's lighter, the flame is nice and soft. You can twist the cigar in it and uh, you should get a good light. Um, this is for a pipe, so it comes at a side angle. But there we go. So, I've bought quite a few lighters, and really, this is a cheap one. This is a, a turbo flame I got off Amazon ages ago. As you can see, it's not a true jet. Um, but it always works, and I've never had any problems with it. Um, let's just go with a simple, this is a Firebird, uh, a single flame jet lighter. Okay. Um, you can see the little tank inside a little bit on this one, but it's not particularly reliable. You can see I've used this one quite a lot, as there's a lot of scratches on it. Um, you know, it was about 10 per 10 pounds, whatever that is in dollars. Um, so I highly recommend a single, single jet, jet flame. There you go, you can see that better. Um, I'm going to go for something a bit more expensive. Um, uh, you can look at this type of lighter. This is a, a, an Andori, I think it says on the bottom. Yeah, so they make humidors, but it's got a safety catch on it. So you can't push the button in while the lid's flipped. And then, there you go. So there's that. Um, I have uh, a lot of people like Zippo lighters, so I've acquired this. And what this has inside is a Z Plus insert. So you take out your favorite Zippo lighter, and you pop in this. So you can sit and play Zippos to your heart's content, and then it's got quite a nice. I picked this one because it was woody. Thought it looked like something you'd have in a in a gentleman's room. Uh, no, here's a really rather cheap, cheap one, but it's got a, like a locking mechanism and stuff. Ooh. See, it doesn't even work. Um, it is, I mean, bits of it fall off. You really don't. It's quite big to carry around. Ugh. Yeah, so that's probably going to get in the dustbin eventually. So, um, so then you might want to move on to, instead of having one jet, let's move that one over there, you might want a triple jet, a double jet. So the only double jet I actually have is this turbo flame. But, as you can see, it's kind of hit and miss. The only thing I find with um, these style of lighter is you need to purge the tank every time you reflame it, uh, refuel it even. So literally pushing the nozzle in and emptying the tank completely, otherwise you get 
air. So it works, but you want a reliable lighter that when you're out and about smoking your cigars, it's going to light every single time. You don't want something that's gonna not work. So if you got this out to light your cigar, okay, probably eight out of 10 times, it wouldn't have a problem. Um, one of my highest recommendations, <laughs> they're very cheap, but this is a job on, I think you say it. Um, you can get them on eBay, they are dirt cheap. If you buy it with a Zycar logo, this just looks exactly the same lighter. Um, they cost 10, 20 quid, much more. This is a triple flame, you can see the three jets. There you go, you get much more aggressive flaming. Big cigars, I'd use uh, a triple flame on a, on a larger ring gauge um, and on your smaller ring gauge, I'd stick with a, a single jet. Much more gentle, you can control it. This will create a lot of heat and really for a large ring gauge cigar, so you're talking your sort of 50 to 60 ring gauge, I'd say, you, might, you want that kind of lighter for that. Uh, I've got another example here. This is from, this was a free gift from Cigars of Abanos. Again, pretty good. Tends to work. It's one of the better free gifts. Ravi, who runs the site, tends to give out good, fairly good free gifts once a year. Um, there you go. Again, you can see. Sometimes you have to let a bit of gas out and then do it. But again, jet lighters, they can be totally unreliable. Uh, this one is not one you perhaps put in your pocket and take away with you. This is um, one I have at home. This is a, room, a Zycar Room 101 table lighter. Let's see if it will work. There you go. Generally this one's pretty good. As you can see, Triple flame, don't want to set it off in the camera. Triple flame uh, with this sort of anti-dust thing on it. Um, most of the time that works pretty well. I'd say the one problem with lighters like this is if it's cold, um, if you store them in an area which is cold, which I tend to out in my conservatory here, uh, they don't like cold and they might not work until you've warmed it up in your pocket. So be wary of that. Also gas, if you're trying to refill your lighter in the cold, it might not work. This is just a cheap one I got from a, what is it, a, a Zor. Again, I'm having trouble with this. Not working. So I probably need to vent the tank on that one. Well, there you go, some different lighters. The only other thing you might want to consider, I mean, this is a very cheap imitation knockoff of a Dunhill roll gas. There you go. So a nice soft flame. There you go. I don't even know what this is. What is it? A Kingsway. You can pick these up on eBay. They're old, but they're they're pretty good. But uh, Dunhill obviously make the most famous one, the nice roll gas version. I think there's a few other variants of this lighter. But you know, it's all right. If you look, small, small, small cigars with a soft flame, much easier. So there you go. So there's a few lighters that you might want to consider. Um, why you would want a soft flame, a match, or a jet lighter. One, two, or three flames. I think there's even a, a quad flame if you look hard enough. Top picks though, I'd say, probably this, value for money. A couple of pounds from China. Um, and if it goes wrong, chuck it in the bin. What I like about this is I like them when they've got the, the clear tank because you can see how much fluid's left as opposed to a little window or no no tank. No, when you're going out, you want to know how much is in there. Do I need to refill my lighter or is it fine? Because it might be a temperamental one. This I got free with some cigars and it's never, never been a very good lighter. In fact, it's yellow, it's crusty. I think it's time for the bin. Now the other thing about this one, this Andori, is it has a little cigar punch in the side. So you can actually just take that out and nothing else. If you're happy with a punch. So there we go. A range of lighters, different ways of lighting your cigar. 
Um, and maybe I'll look at doing a cigar lighting video shortly. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found that informative. Um, any feedback, greatly received. Thanks for now. Take care. Bye.